Introduce. No CP, Plain 1. The beginning is the white-eyed wolf his mother. Li Lan. It's a small matter, just hit it directly. The white-eyed wolf was directly stunned, and he shouted loudly that he knew he was wrong. Plain 2. It's not easy for a single mother to fall in love, but her daughter is deceived by a scumbag, Li Lan. What I can give you, I can also take it back. Li Lan took out a 40 meter long knife and prepared to dry it. Keywords of the novel Quickly wearing, opening, becoming old lady no pop ups, quickly wearing, opening, becoming old lady txt complete collection download, quickly wearing, opening, becoming old lady latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Die of anger, become a white eyed wolf his mother one. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 1 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 1, Cough Li Lan was awakened by a burst of coughing. She looked at her somewhat aged face in the mirror, and then looked at the house that looked a bit old. A three-bedroom, one-living-room house, living alone, not big or small. Take the flip-flop not far away and put it on. Get up from the ground and walk to the coffee table to pour a cup of warm water. Drink half a cup of water in small sips. Li Lan finally felt her physical condition and cultivation. Ah, with less than one tenth of her cultivation left, she didn't panic and calmly sat down on the sofa. I slowly looked at the little brat in my mind, who was hiding in a corner of the shadow and rubbing his hands with a fly. Speak up. The new baby, what's going on? Why is my cultivation sealed so much? and I even wear it on an old lady's body, saying it's top dot notch, beautiful, with white skin and long legs. This difference is too big. Li Lan's serious face. Zyananwa. Boss, the seniors in the industry all say that you are a person with a big picture, high realm, and broad-mindedness. They all say that you don't care about small things and can calm down big things. So, Boss, you probably don't care about these small details, do you? Li Lan Ma is gone, so she hasn't been fighting or pretending to be bad for so many years. Those old guys give her such high praise. Li Lan's mouth twitched. Is the pattern large? Wipe. Don't be angry, don't be angry. Being angry is punishing oneself for someone else's mistakes. She won't do this loss making business. Li Lan closed her eyes and silently recited, I love work, work loves me, several times before opening her eyes, looking like a kind old lady. Hmm. Li Lan responded lightly, from today on, I'll call you Xiao Bai. Now we can start teleporting the plot. Okay. Xiao Bai quickly began to teleport the plot. He didn't expect the boss to be so easy to talk to. The big shot is so approachable, so gentle and approachable. Sure enough, the situation is big. The plot is being transmitted. In no time, many images appeared in Li Lan's mind. The original owner, also known as Li Lan, was an old lady who was 53 years old this year and had a son who was 28 years old. Two years ago, we talked about a girlfriend. The woman complained that he didn't have a house or savings, so she kept dragging on until now. She doesn't break up or plan to get married, and relies on her son's pension money and the hard dot earned money left by the old man's young business to support her. The old lady is not completely foolish. She didn't give all the money out at once, so she gave it little by little, afraid that her son would spend all the money in one go. The two of them rented another room outside. The son of the white-eyed wolf told the old lady that it was difficult to get along with his mother-in-law and daughter-in-law due to conflicts. It was best for everyone to live separately and live separately. The old lady is too angry, but there is nothing she can do because the old man passed away a few years ago, and she only has such a son. If she is not in the mood, she will have to grit her teeth to help. Because she is a unique seedling, it can be said that the old lady has given all her thoughts to her son from childhood to adulthood, relying on everything she wants and doting on her no matter how old she is. 
it doesn't matter if her son doesn't earn enough money to make a living. She paid him and had an argument with her girlfriend. When her girlfriend cried and demanded tens of thousands of yuan for a bag to reconcile, she paid him. At any time, the old lady would tighten her clothes and cut back on herself, saving to the point of being outrageous, just to ensure her son's life and appease the future daughter. In law, she didn't like very much. There's no way, who would say my son likes it? But no matter how rich they are, they can't stand it. At the beginning, it was okay in the first two years, but later it became more and more important to start spending in tens of thousands. Later on, he went even further and directly forced the old lady to sell the house, but the old lady refused because the old house had memories of his wife. The son of the white-eyed wolf often scolded the old lady in various ways, and the future daughter. In law was also not good. He often came to anger the old lady and deliberately went back to tell the white-eyed wolf that the old lady was bullying her. As a result, she gave everything. After the money was emptied, the white-eyed wolf's son broke up with his girlfriend because he couldn't bear the days of poverty. The white-eyed wolf's son blamed the old lady for everything and cursed her every day. He even went crazy with alcohol and threw and beat in the old house. Seeing her son turn into this, the old lady naturally felt very uncomfortable in her heart. She blames herself and beats her chest and feet every day. She really can't understand why her son, who is held in her palm, turned into this. Finally, the son of the white-eyed wolf used the land deed of the old house to claim it, and the old lady became desperate for this son. Her wish is not to be a frustrated ATM, to hold on to the house and money left by the old man, to live a good life on her own, and not to have the white-eyed wolf son who only knows how to gnaw on the old. My girlfriend doesn't have the ability to keep her, and she even came to point at her nose and scold her. She gave everything, but inside and outside, she's not human, it's a big deal. Raising a dog will wag its tail at you, and this son is typically an immature white-eyed wolf. After watching the plot, Li Lan exclaimed, Good guy. Great filial son in the world. At this moment, the phone placed on the coffee table rang. Li Lan glanced and saw that it was the filial son who called. She didn't want to pick it up at all and hung up decisively. What else can I do if I call? You must be asking for money again. It's already past 5 p.m. by this time, and it's time to prepare dinner. The rice is already cooked in the electric pot, just make one or two more dishes. Entering the kitchen and opening the refrigerator, there were only scattered vegetables with incomplete leaves, which the old lady had picked out by others in the market to save money and buy at a low price. Sigh. Li Lan sighed. Fortunately, there are two eggs inside. Picking and frying green vegetables and cooking egg vegetable soup with scallion oil. Then I sat down at the small table and opened my mobile phone to brush TikTok. With the food program in TikTok, I ate with relish. On the coffee table in the living room, the phone was constantly on, with over a dozen unanswered calls and a bunch of WeChat bombardments. Oh, by the way, Li Lan's new mobile phone with TikTok on it was originally bought for the son of the white-eyed wolf. She said that she had quarreled with her girlfriend again. The girlfriend said that she would agree to make up with the son of the white-eyed wolf only after she said that she needed the latest imported mobile phone. Li Lan now says. Hee hee, we also import mobile phones. Don't even talk about phones, there's no phone case, get lost. The next morning, Li Lan called a professional locksmith to replace the original door lock. At one o'clock in the afternoon, the white-eyed wolf came and said, Mom, open the door quickly. I'm in a hurry. The door lock is dead and there is no movement at all. Wang Rui frowned and said, Did you go out? Really? What are you doing when you're old and have nothing to do? It's really not easy. Li Lan, who heard this in the room, chuckled. Do you also know that your mother is quite old? Are you still willing to reach out to her for money? What about the face? Wang Rui shouted a few more times, confirming that no one would come to open the door. 
With a dark face, he found the key, but the damn lock still didn't open. He was angry and kicked the door a few times. Surprisingly changed the lock. Wang Rui was very angry. Li Lan listened to the commotion outside the door, and the white-eyed wolf kicked the door a few more times. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother too. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter 2 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother too. Really? I don't answer phone calls or text messages, don't you know I'm busy? Hmph. He won't easily forgive his mother when she comes back, he must let her know that he was wrong. What do you usually say is that you are her precious son? You wouldn't treat anyone who is not good to you, but that's how you treat him now. If it weren't for the money and a new phone, he wouldn't be so lazy to come back. I'm tired of it. Come here once a month. His mother, can't you give me all the money at once? Anyway, I have to give it to myself in the future, why bother so much? Li Lan flipped through the calendar, and the Chinese almanac said, everything is suitable. Wow today is a great day. It's okay, it's just suitable to beat a white-eyed wolf and be unfilial. Can you add some seasoning to life? Li Lan opened the door and looked surprised at Wang Rui. Wang Rui's face turned black and his attitude was also very bad when he saw Li Lan. Mom, why didn't you open the door for me at home and keep me waiting for so long? And what lock did you change if you had nothing to do? Why did you spend that unjustified money? Isn't it good to leave it to him? Why spend money recklessly? If you don't come in again, I'll close the door, said Li Lan with a pale expression. Wang Rui pushed Li Lan aside with an angry expression and entered the room. Mom, your attitude is getting worse and worse now. I'm telling you, if you continue like this, I really won't come. Li Lan closed the door and easily locked it. Turning around, the white-eyed wolf had already stepped into the kitchen. Wang Rui has been relying on eating instant noodles for a living these days. Lin Chi Chi had an argument with him and refused to let him sleep or cook anything for him. When he came in, he smelled the meat. It was too much. His mother ate alone. Usually when he comes, her mother either has pickles with kanji or potatoes and sweet potatoes. His mother likes to eat these. He also asked his mother what money he wanted to save for him. He was very moved at that time, but he just pretended. If he hadn't come a day earlier this month, he still didn't know that his mother ate meat every day when she was alone at home. On the kitchen table, there is still a lot of spare rib soup and a small plate of braised pork belly, which Li Lan bought in the morning. She wants to eat more in the afternoon. Wang Rui is not polite either. After a while, he finished all the spare ribs and braised pork belly. Hiccup. Wang Rui belched heavily before walking out of the kitchen with a black face and sitting on the sofa, as if he were the emperor, waiting for someone to serve him. Li Lan wouldn't get used to him. Get up. Li Lan walked over, kicked the person away, and sat down on her own. Ah. Wang Rui unexpectedly kicked him. Are you crazy? Mom. Are you crazy? You said you wouldn't hit me, but now you're kicking me. I'm very angry. This time there's not eight thousand. Oh no ten thousand, I won't forgive you. Although being kicked was a bit painful, Wang Rui's anger dissipated halfway when he thought he had another excuse to take more money. Dare to eat meat every day, it's not too much to ask for an extra few thousand this time. Wang Rui smelled the smell of meat once and concluded in his heart that Li Lan eats meat every day at home. Wang Rui stood up and accused Li Lan with his eyes. Li Lan rolled her big white eyes and said, You don't have any money, just take the shit from the toilet if you want it. Wang Rui is still immersed in fantasy. Should he ask for an extra one or two thousand? Anyway, it's not enough to spend. Today, his mother made him angry. He caught him eating alone and kicked him. He is now straightforward and angry. But when he heard his mother say that money doesn't have three words, 
he was stunned for a moment, and then he heard that his mother asked him to take the shit in the toilet. His face was gloomy and he questioned Li Lan loudly. No. Mom, do you want to spend all the money my dad left me? I'll tell you, if you dare to do this, I won't take care of you in the future. Li Lan looked at the white-eyed wolf that had penetrated into Qian's eyes and smiled. Just like you, I don't expect you to provide me with retirement. I'm already in my thirties, and my girlfriend doesn't marry you. She doesn't have the ability to work and can't even support herself. It's okay for a useless person to say such things in front of me. Li Lan is not in a hurry to take action. She likes to argue and get angry on her own. It's really fun. Yes. She hasn't even started yet, she just moved her feet. Mom, are you saying this now? Back then, Chi Chi was going to marry me. It was you who didn't agree to sell our old house to buy a new one. You're still saying this to anger me. Isn't it all your fault that I haven't gotten married yet? Indeed, Lin Chi Chi was willing to marry Wang Rui two years ago, and her request was to fill in her name on the property certificate to buy a house, saying that this would give her a sense of security. Of course the original owner didn't do it anymore. Oh, she built the old house and bought a new one. The new house still belongs to another woman. If she is deceived, her son and she will have nothing in the end. This white-eyed wolf son is also stubborn. He said that Lin Chi Chi will not marry him in this lifetime, and he will be held tightly by that woman. What's going on? I blame my mother for not having the ability to marry a wife myself. Please figure it out, isn't it that you don't have the ability yourself? Oh, by the way, I was deliberately angry with you. What I said is also true. Wang Ruiya is angry. How the hell did he become like this? Isn't his mother particularly fond of him? Is it because he doesn't go home often to see her? I won't argue with you. Bring me the money and phone. I need to go back. Chi Chi is still waiting at home. If you continue to make such a fuss, I won't come again. Even if you beg me, I won't come. Li Lan stood up this time and walked into the kitchen. How do I get to the kitchen? Is the money hidden in the kitchen? These elderly people just like to litter, what's wrong with them? Wan Rui thinks that his mother has compromised. His mother really loves him very much. He can temporarily forgive what he just said, but occasionally he can take it out to turn over the past, so he has another reason to take his mother. After a while, Li Lan came out of the room with one hand behind her. Wang Rui spoke first and said, Mom, hurry up and take it out. I have something else to do. Li Lan blinked and said, You said it. Dot. Really, at an advanced age, I still have a childlike temperament. And then, the little flying stick is here. Li Lan clenched her rolling pin and waved it up, while Wang Rui widened his eyes in disbelief. The rolling pin tightly hit Wang Rui, causing him to scream in pain. Ah! Mom, you're really crazy. You even hit me. Ah! It hurts so much. Crazy crazy, his mother crazy. Mom, I'm angry, I'm really angry. Li Lan doesn't listen to what the white-eyed wolf says, she just beats her. The white-eyed wolf wanted to run away, so Li Lan caught him and beat him up again. She didn't beat him to death either. What if she scared the white-eyed wolf and didn't come back next time? The pain is also really painful. Li Lan used some spiritual power. When the white-eyed wolf felt so painful that she thought she was going to die, Li Lan immediately stopped the pain, inside and outside, intact. Wang Rui almost thought he was crazy. Mom, stop beating me. Are you sick? If you're sick, go see a doctor. Why do you want to vent your anger on me? End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 3 Dare to Curse the Old Lady Also, 
If your mother is really sick, shouldn't you first care and take her to see a doctor? What does it mean not to vent your anger on you? Wang Rui looked at his mother's eyes and instinctively told him to run, or his mother would hit him again. He thought his mother might be in menopause. Mom, you didn't turn off the toilet light. Go and turn it off. I have something to do, so I'll leave first. I'll come over and collect the money in a few days. Wang Rui crawled towards the door. Li Lan. Oh, I want to run. She hasn't played enough yet. Come back, you. Li Lan felt unsatisfied with the rolling pin, so she picked up her fist and slammed it onto the white-eyed wolf. You dare to ask for my mother's money, right? Let's take a few punches first. Wang Rui left two lines of crocodile tears in pain. He felt that his bones were broken, and he was really scared of being beaten. Stop beating, mom, I'm wrong. I will speak well and behave well in the future. I don't take so much money every month, 6009. 6009, right. Wang Rui begged for mercy. Is his mother possessed by any monster? How did you become so unfamiliar? Li Lan. He he. There's not even a penny, you just want to go. Bang bang. Mom, I was wrong. Don't hit me anymore. It hurts so much. Mom, take a good look at me. I'm your son. Damn it, I don't have a white-eyed wolf like you. Li Lan had enough fighting and threw Wang Rui out of the house. Get out of here. It's annoying to see you, she said Wang Rui felt pain all over his body. He looked pitifully at Li Lan and said, Mom, don't do this. I'll take the money for this month in a few days. You give me your phone first, and I promise I will treat you well in the future. If Chi Chi doesn't get her phone, she will be unhappy. Let's wait a few days. Anyway, he is the only son in his mother's life. He won't really ignore him. Li Lan is speechless, this white-eyed wolf really loves his girlfriend. No, get lost. Li Lan closed the door. Wang Rui still leaned against the door and said, Mom, open the door. Without this phone, your son will be sleeping on the street tonight. Mom, have the heart. Li Lan was too lazy to listen, so she returned to her room, turned on the radio, and simply started listening to traditional Chinese opera. The babbling sound of traditional Chinese opera quickly drowned out the voice of the white-eyed wolf. On this side, Wang Rui, who was crying but had no effect, dragged his injured body back to the rented house. In the room, Lin Chi Chi was playing games on the bed in her pajamas, and there was a half-eaten hamburger on the left table. When she heard the commotion outside the door, she knew it was her boyfriend Wang Rui who had returned. Thinking of the new phone and money brought back by Wang Rui, Lin Chi Chi was in a wonderful mood. Coincidentally, she also fell in love with a set of high.n skincare products, worth thousands. Her best friend is still showing off to herself, saying that she has a lot of good boyfriends and wants to buy a bag. Want lipstick, buy it. I heard his boyfriend plans to give away diamond rings next month. Lin Chi Chi was extremely envious. How could she not have met such a generous, gentle, considerate, and not short of money boyfriend? She met either a poor loser or a dead straight man. So, Wang Rui stood out. Wang Rui has a small mouth and sweet talk. He is tall and has a decent appearance. His monthly salary will be paid to him on time, including the share given to him by his mother. Together, there are more than 10,000 miscellaneous items every month. But. It's clearly not enough for her to spend. Lin Chi Chi is still satisfied with Wang Rui. She is not satisfied with Wang Rui's his mother and won't buy a house for them. Humph. Anyway, the dead old woman's son has already been tightly controlled by herself. She is still young, twenty years old, and if the dead old woman dares not agree to her request, she will keep her son unmarried and want to have a grandson. There is no way. Lin Chi Chi jumped out of bed and walked out of the room, are you back? 
Lin Chi Chi reached out her hand. Wang Rui is very sad. Chi Chi. My mom hit me. Lin Chi Chi's first reaction was impossible, laughing to death. How could the old lady possibly hit his precious son? It's impossible to believe that the old lady hit his son even if she believes that the sow has climbed a tree. However, seeing Wang Rui empty-handed, she felt slightly uneasy and said, Where's your phone? And the money your mother gave you, too. No, but don't worry, my mom's anger will dissipate in a few days. I'll give you both her phone and money. Don't be angry, okay? Pop. Lin Chi Chi slapped Wang Rui and said, No. What's the use of me wanting you? Lin Chi Chi has been scratching and scratching Wang Rui again, cursing Li Lan to death in her heart. It must have been intentional. Since you have made it difficult for me, I will also make it difficult for your son. Wang Rui didn't dare to get angry even if he was beaten. He coaxed Lin Chi Chi and wanted to hug her. Chi Chi, listen to me explain. Get lost. Who wants to hear your explanation? Lin Chi Chi kicked Wang Rui and slammed the door tightly into the room. Bang. Come on, I'm sleeping on the couch again tonight. Wang Rui also complains about his mother in his heart. The good life is spoiled by his mother. Now his mother is happy. He knows that his mother doesn't like Chi Chi all the time. Although she is a good girl, she has a little bad temper, but Wang Rui thinks it's nothing. If he likes it, he will be fine. His mother can't see the advantages of Chi Chi. Don't you have to pick a bone in the egg? Do we have to force them to part in order to be satisfied? His mother is really old and doesn't let people worry. She doesn't expect his son to be good at all. Wang Rui bared his teeth and lifted his clothes to examine the wound. He wondered that his mother hit him so hard that he thought he was going to die, even though it would not hurt after a while. You can lift up the cuffs and see that there are no scars at all, it can't be said that there are no, but the overall skin color is slightly darker than usual. What? Although it's unbelievable, maybe it's because he has thick skin, right? Wang Rui waited for the instant noodles to be cooked while using his phone to send a WeChat message to Lin Chi Chi. Kiss baby, don't be angry. It's all my mother's fault, of course I'm also at fault. Can you not be angry? I promise you, when my mom gives me all the money in the future, I will definitely buy you many, many bags and lipsticks. Can you please take care of me? Chi Chi baby Lin Chi Chi didn't reply to Wang Rui's WeChat, but instead loudly said in the room, I don't want to wait in the future. You can ask your mother to give you all the money now, otherwise we'll break up. No, I won't break up. Chi Chi, I love you. How can I live alone without you? My mother is the only son like me, and her money will be left to me. So why didn't your mother give you money this time? My mom's menopause is here, Chi Chi, can you open the door? I don't. It's all your mother who causes me to get angry. I knew you and your mother were the same family, and I was always an outsider. Chi Chi is not like this. The two of us are the closest. My mom can't compare to you. We have to spend the rest of our lives together. How could we be outsiders? If we were outsiders, it would be my mom. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Die of anger, become a white-eyed wolf his mother for. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Die of anger, become a white-eyed wolf his mother for Lin Chi Chi didn't speak again, but instead sent a WeChat message saying, you can only choose between me and your mother. At times like Wang Rui's, it's impossible to make Lin Chi Chi angry again. Without even thinking, he said, Chi Chi, I'll choose you. The next afternoon, Wang Rui finally managed to calm Lin Chi Chi down. The two of them walked out hand in hand to eat and drink when they met Li Lan walking towards them. Mom, why are you here? Wang Rui's eyes brightened, and he pretended to be sentimental. Did his mother come to send him money? Is he going to pretend to be angry? 
Otherwise, he was beaten for nothing yesterday. Although it didn't hurt after that, his mother really hit him. Oh, isn't this my big brother? Li Lan looked at them and deliberately exaggerated her tone. Lin Chi Chi reluctantly called out, Auntie. Then she turned her face away to show Li Lan's expression. I've already said hello, your mother and I have something to do, so I'll leave first. Li Lan didn't get angry either, so she simply bypassed them. She still has something to do. Oh mom, where are you going? Aren't you here to find us? Wang Rui became anxious and stopped Li Lan. Who said I'm here to find you? Damn it, don't block the way. Mom, I've been a bit tight lately. You don't know, my colleagues are laughing at me for not changing into new clothes in a month. Mom, look at this. Wang Rui knew that mom was the most important to him. Mom used to be angry, and whenever she said this, mom would feel very sorry for herself and give money. Upon hearing this, Li Lan gave the white-eyed wolf a big punch without any hesitation. If it weren't for it on the street, she would have punched her. Oh, you haven't bought new clothes for a month and you're still feeling wronged. Don't even look at your mother's white-washed clothes. Li Lan is not worth it for the original owner. What kind of life does white-eyed wolf live? What kind of life are you living? Why do you have to compromise yourself and help others? Mom, why did you hit me again? Wang Rui got angry and stopped doing it. Lin Chi Chi was also startled. The old lady was really willing to hit her son. Auntie, how could you hit Arui? Doing so would hurt Arui's heart. Li Lan. Dot. If it doesn't hurt his heart, will it hurt mine? Mom, you've changed. You've become very disappointing to me, Wang Rui continued, as if Li Lan had done something heinous. Oh, then you can slowly disappoint here. I'll leave first. Li Lan is not the original owner, he won't get used to him, nor will he be humble and please the white-eyed wolf. Li Lan knew that the house rented by the white-eyed wolf was nearby. Today is Sunday, and the white-eyed wolf doesn't have to work, but she didn't expect to meet so coincidentally. Wang Rui sees that Li Lan really doesn't care about him and leaves. He is angry and unwilling. He follows behind to see what his mother wants to do. Li Lan knows that the two of them are following her, and she doesn't care either. If she wants to follow her, just follow her. Arriving at a CAFA, Li Lan had just sat down when her hand was grabbed. Mom, what are you doing? The things here are very expensive. Can you stop playing around and make a cup of tea when you go home? You must give the money to someone else, Wang Rui said softly. He had a painful expression on his face, as if Li Lan was going to spend him a lot of money next. He and Lin Chi Chi often come to this store, and he knows how expensive the things inside are. Yeah. Auntie, if you really want something to drink, you can come back with us, and Arui will brew tea for you to drink. Lin Chi Chi also spoke softly. The old lady really doesn't care about the younger generation at all, nor does she say she saves more things for them to enjoy herself. Li Lan watched as they sang and stopped her from spending money, feeling that as an old woman, she shouldn't have spent this money. She had to give the money to both of them to enjoy. I don't think you're missing out on it. Why, your mother, I spent my own money on a single expense that's too much. Do you think my money should be kept for you to spend? Mom, what's wrong with you? You can just throw a tantrum and hit me without reason. Why do you think of us like this? Do you deserve me to call you, Mom? Dot? Auntie, I know you have always disagreed with me being with your son. Your son has a college degree, while I only have a high school degree. You think I am not worthy of your son, but we love each other deeply. Anyway, we will not be separated. Auntie, you don't have to say such words to insult me and force me to leave your son. Wang Rui and Lin Chi Chi spoke loudly behind each other, attracting everyone in the store to look over. It seemed that Li Lan was an old man who was unreasonable and insisted on breaking up two lovers. 
some people with unknown circumstances have already frowned and looked at Li Lan, whispering and discussing. Wang Rui wanted to use the pressure of the masses to embarrass Li Lan and make her compromise and go back with him. If his mother dares to hit him again, he will not be afraid. Anyway, he is right now. Li Lan looked around with meaningful gazes. Her expression was faint, and there was no fluctuation in her emotions. She just didn't know when her eyes had turned red. She spoke with a restrained choking voice and a humble tone, Son, Mom knows she's sorry for you. She blames Mom for not buying you a big house, which caused your girlfriend not to marry you. But Mom is already working hard to make money, can you come and see Mom more? Guagua eating crowd. Wow. What situation is this? The emotional old lady is not an unreasonable and stubborn elderly person, but a son and daughter. In law who want too much. Wang Rui quickly reconciled. Mom, what are you talking about? Chi Chi and I just want to take you home and have a good meal. You insist on coming out to drink some coffee. This thing is not good for the old man's stomach without eating. How come you just don't listen? Even if you're angry, you can't talk nonsense. Auntie, it's okay for you to talk recklessly at home. You still behave like this outside, but it's okay. Neither Arui nor I will blame you. Do you think this is enough? Li Lan continued to excel in her acting, trying hard not to shed tears. Her tone became even more humble, it's not like that, I don't want to drink any coffee. I just... I just want to see what you young people like to eat and drink. Son, it's your birthday in a few days, and mom just wants to buy something that young people like to eat. Mom just wants to make you happy and integrate into your world, is that also wrong? Li Lan grabbed Wang Rui's clothes and was careful as if she was afraid that he might not be happy Wang Rui was stunned, and his mood was very complicated. He almost forgot that his birthday would be a few days later, but his mother remembered that he had to prepare gifts for him in advance. His mother loved him so much, didn't he just speak in a heavier tone? Gourd eating crowd. What a great maternal love. This old man didn't do anything wrong. Why did her son and girlfriend react so strongly? Talking so loudly to elders doesn't seem like much fun at first glance. It's true that once you have a wife, you forget about your mother. Isn't it some kind of white-eyed wolf? The phone in her pocket shook for a moment, and Li Lan took out her phone and looked at the message, feeling a bit awkward. I didn't wait for this coffee shop, but for another coffee shop next door. Li Lan ignored the white-eyed wolves and turned to another coffee shop next door. Wang Rui and Lin Chi Chi's faces were both ugly because they were invited out by the store manager. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 5 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 5 Li Lan went to a coffee shop next door and searched for it according to the information on her phone. On the left side of the store, there is a young man sitting against the wall. Seeing Li Lan, he immediately stood up and walked over to support her. Aunt Li, come this way, he said Li Lan smiled and said, no need, I can walk by myself. I just want to walk more to exercise my body. Aunt Li, have you eaten yet? I have desserts here and I also ordered a cappuccino for you. I'll go get it, you wait a moment. Okay, okay. Chen Kong went to the bar. Li Lan eats dim sum. Dim sum is delicious, not sweet or greasy, soft and glutinous. There is still a contract on the table. Li Lan came over today to sell a house, not the one she currently lives in, but the first house she bought when her former owner got married. In the ancient city, the house is not big but has a unique architectural style, and there is still a lot of room for appreciation. At that time, Wang Rui was still in the stomach of the original owner, but he moved two years later. The white-eyed wolf was still young and didn't even remember it. Later, the original owner never mentioned it. Now Chin Kong has approached Li Lan and said he wants to buy it, just like in his lifetime. 
Li Lan has also agreed, feeling that there is nothing bad about it. In the previous life, the original owner did not sell it, nor did he mention it to the white-eyed wolf. The white-eyed wolf ran away with the house deed and never came back. After the original owner died, the old house in the ancient city was occupied by the uncle's family. Chen Kong was a college student who was supported by the old man when he was alive. He had a good character and had the ability to work, which was highly valued by his superiors. Now he has also saved some money and wants to buy a house in the ancient city to transform it into a creative studio for his own development. Coincidentally, he knew that Li Lan had a house on the other side of the ancient city. When the old man was alive, he had always been in contact with Chen Kong. Chen Kong also proposed to repay him, but he refused. The old man asked him to donate money to the Hope Project, and Chen Kong did the same. Li Lan also knew that he would donate money to Hope Primary School every year over the years. It can be said that we have always adhered to our original intention and remained cautious throughout. Antli, I will offer a price 10% higher than the market to buy this house. Please take a look at the contract and see if there are any other requirements. Let me know and I will go back and make changes. Xiao Chen, there's no problem with the contract, but one thing is that the transaction amount should be based on the market price and cannot be refuted. Chen Kong knew that Li Lan was also doing him good. Antli, I really didn't suffer any losses. There is a lot of room for appreciation in this house in the future. That's not good either, otherwise I won't sell. Li Lan is now like a stubborn old lady. Finally, Chen Kong could only agree with a red face, and the two talked about the old man's life before his death. Most of the time, Chen Kong was talking, and Li Lan was filled with emotions. The old man of the original owner was really good, and he was truly devoted to the original owner. The contract is signed and stamped, with each person holding one copy. Only thirty minutes had passed in between. After leaving the coffee shop, Chen Kong wanted to take Li Lan back, but Li Lan still refused. She really likes to walk alone. Unexpectedly, those two big fools like Wang Rui were still wandering outside, seemingly searching for themselves. Mom, where did you go? Wang Rui finally saw Li Lan and ran over with an unclear expression, while Lin Chi Chi followed behind awkwardly. Aunt Li, are these two? Chen Kong politely asked. Oh, a son who's not very familiar with him and his girlfriend. Chen Kong. Dot. What answer is this? Wang Rui also saw Chen Kong dressed in a casual suit, and could feel that the popularity here was even greater than him. He stood unnaturally. Mom, who is this? You don't need to know, Li Lan said in a cool tone I also want to know Wang Rui, who is not a simple man, and his face suddenly becomes tense. What the hell did he say? Does he want face? Auntie, you. You shut up, I don't want to hear you talk. Lin Chi Chi, who also wanted to publish a quote from Bai Lian, was suddenly strangled in the cradle by Li Lan. Lin Chi Chi could only hide behind Wang Rui with grievances, sobbing softly, How could your mother be so cruel to me? What did I do wrong? Who should I show a pitiful expression to? Oh, it's for Wang Rui and Chen Kong to see. Seeing that Aunt Li didn't really like these two people, Chen Kong didn't take the initiative to introduce himself. With a faint expression on his face, he stood quietly behind Li Lan. Wang Rui was already angry when he saw the contract in Li Lan's hand that had not yet been put into his pocket. He snatched it all at once. Chen Kong frowned, but Li Lan didn't speak, and he didn't feel embarrassed to scold the other person's son first. Wang Rui looked at the content, lying down. Mom, we still have a house in the ancient city, why don't I know? Wang Rui was angry. If he knew before Wang Rui could even reach the final transaction amount, the contract was snatched by Li Lan. Why should I let you know? You're saying this as if knowing this house would make it yours. Li Lan looked at Wang Rui with a sarcastic expression in her eyes. It seems like saying, Sun smash, your face flies. 
Wang Rui. Dot. Auntie, why can't this be Wang Rui's? He's already your only son, he has inheritance rights. Lin Chi Chi also saw the contents of the contract and knew that Li Lan had sold the house, and the buyer should be the man in front of her. She knows about the houses in the ancient city, there is a lot of room for appreciation, and it is impossible to sell them very cheap. So, the old lady now has another huge sum in her hand. She needs to sum it up and let Wang Rui get it. She also wants to become the young lady of a wealthy family. Wang Rui also thinks the same way. He is the only son of his mother. If his mother sells the house for money, she should give it to him. What kind of work will he have tomorrow? The meat in his mother's hand is delicious. The greedy gaze of Wang Rui and Lin Chi Chi could even tell from the outsider Chen Kong, and he couldn't help but worry a bit about Aunt Li. Uncle Wang and Aunt Li are such good people, how could they have such a son? They don't want to rely on themselves and just want to grow old. Aunt Li. Li Lan waved her hand, indicating that she was okay. Xiao Chen, aren't you going to see me off? Let's go. Li Lan looked at the suddenly gloomy sky and remembered that the clothes hanging on the balcony yesterday were still confiscated. Okay, Aunt Li, this is my car. Could you please make way for it? Chen Kong pointed to a low dot key and luxurious luxury car next to him. Wang Rui and Lin Chi Chi were blocking the car door, both blushing and awkwardly moving away. Just now, Lin Chi Chi was posing and taking photos in this car, and now it's like slapping Wang Rui's face. In the next few days, Li Lan thought that Wang Rui would come over and bother her every day, after all, she had a huge sum of money now. Surprisingly, neither of them appeared. Is this modified? That's impossible, after all, dogs can't change their habit of eating shit. What kind of calculation is probably being made again? The white-eyed wolf didn't come over to be beaten, and Li Lan's little life was also quite comfortable. I was alone. I went out to buy breakfast if I didn't want to cook it. I ate whatever I wanted. I didn't have to worry about whether two mantu were too expensive at one yuan. I didn't want to spend two yuan a day. I wanted to save all my money for my son. The original owner really pained Wang Rui at the tip of his heart. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 6 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 6 It's after 7 in the morning. Li Lan came to the old Sha County snack at the end of the street, in the restaurant, there are many people sitting inside and outside the table. Some are going to catch the bus and ask the boss to pack a drawer of steamed dumplings in a hurry. Some are Bauma and her children, who eat well and take them to school here. Some are old men and their wives. In short, it is very lively. Auntie, what do you want to eat? The boss lady in her forties warmly invited Li Lan to sit down. Li Lan looked at the menu and said, this lotus seed pork belly soup is good. Well, two portions, wonton with fresh corn, noodles mixed with scallion oil, two tea egg, and two drawers of steamed dumplings. Auntie, are you going to pack? I'll eat here. Oh, Auntie, you have a date, right? No, I'll eat alone. Boss's wife. Dot. Auntie has a good appetite. After finishing her meal, Li Lan returned home and saw Wang Rui and Lin Chi Chi from a distance at the doorstep. This white-eyed wolf skin has finally arrived, it's been a long time since I moved around. They clearly didn't see Li Lan. Lin Chi Chi seems to be unhappy. Wang Rui tries to coax her with a hot-faced sweetheart. He also carries some shabby Xilong bale in his hand. Li Lan. Can't it be for oneself? She doesn't want it. Dear sweetheart, if my mother still says something unpleasant in anger, don't argue with her like she does. You know, my mother is the kind of ignorant old lady. Don't anger yourself, otherwise I will feel heartbroken. I know, I won't see her in the same way. Baby, 
you're so kind. But you're not allowed to speak for your mother, you have to face me. As you said, you have to pamper me for a lifetime and hold me in your hands like a princess. Yes, yes, Princess Chi-Chi. Then the two of them got tired of it endlessly. Dot. Li Lan deliberately walked around behind them and spoke coldly, What are you two little people saying bad things about me? Ah. Lin Chi Chi screamed. Oh my goodness. Wang Rui saw clearly that Li Lan was also startled. Lin Chi Chi blurted out, Old lady, you walk silently. Wang Rui realized that it was too late to cover Lin Chi Chi's mouth. Wang Rui didn't think that Lin Chi Chi's words were malicious. He is afraid that his mother will get mad again later. What should he do when he hits Kiki? Mom, it's your silence that scared Kiki. It's not Kiki's fault. Kiki asked me to buy you Xiaolong Bao. Wang Rui hurriedly handed Li Lan the Xiaolong Bao. Li Lan looked at it, good guy. It's still left over. There are only four small ones inside, and one of them even bit halfway and put them all inside. Who is this disgusting? Li Lan was laughed at angrily. What dogs don't even eat, why don't you keep it for yourself? Upon hearing these words, Lin Chi Chi blushed with anger and said, Auntie, how did you speak? Oh, it seems that the leftover half belongs to Lin Chi Chi. Oh, Li Lan feels even more disgusted. Wang Rui is also very upset. His mother has changed and is not as talkative as before. But Chi Chi has been wronged and he can't watch her. I promise to spoil Chi Chi into a little princess. Wang Rui said in a cold voice, Mom, please apologize to Kiki. We got up early in the morning and queued up to buy this Xiaolong Bao for you. If you don't say yes, you can't swear. Apologize. Why should I apologize? Wang Rui, make sure that I am your mother. And have you asked me for advice? Who wants to eat the Xiaolong Bao you bought? Wang Rui is embarrassed and moves Xiaolong Bao away from Li Lan's eyes. So Chi Chi is still my wife. She will have a chubby grandson for you in the future. Have a rebellious son like you. Besides, whether you have children or not is none of my business. Mom, can you speak well? Why is this different from what I thought before I came here? When his mother saw them coming, he brought her food. Shouldn't his mother be moved to tears? After all, I used to come empty-handed, and this time I brought food. Why can't mom see his goodness? Don't eat Xiaolong Bao if you don't like it. Why curse people Wang Rui thought that several days had passed, and his mother should miss him now. After all, tomorrow is his birthday. What is the result? The feeling of meeting his mother is still so. Aggressive. You can speak well. Li Lan opened the door with the key, gesturing for them to enter. Everyone has come, let's go in and talk about anything. Wang Rui breathed a sigh of relief. Entering the room, Li Lan closed the door. Wang Rui inexplicably felt that this familiar recipe, familiar plot mom, won't she go crazy and beat herself up again. Wang Rui's voice trembled unconsciously. Mom. If you have something to say, let's talk it over. Don't. Do anything. Move your feet. Lin Chi Chi nudged Wang Rui with her elbow and whispered, What's going on with you? You're not doing the right thing yet, so you're acting like this. Lin Chi Chi also saw Li Lan lock the door. What are you afraid of? It's just your mom who's old and tired. If we want to leave, she can still stop us. It's useless. Auntie, we're here today to talk to you about something. Lin Chi Chi, like the hostess of this family, sat in the middle of the sofa first, with a commanding tone. Her gaze at Li Lan was like that of a nanny. The old lady can only beat her own son, can she still dare to beat herself? What's going on? Li Lan stood opposite Lin Chi Chi, her aura fully open, comparing her to an interrogated prisoner through labor. Lin Chi Chi seemed to be haunted and moved to the sofa,
tugging at Wang Rui's clothes and asking him to sit down as well. Li Lan is standing. Wang Rui doesn't feel anything. Maybe his mother likes standing. Mom, isn't tomorrow my birthday? I notified Chi Chi's older brother and sister in law to come and talk about our marriage. Marriage. Li Lan had a melon like expression. Auntie, I have already agreed to Arui's proposal. Lin Chi Chi looked proud and wanted to see Li Lan's angry expression. She knew that Li Lan had always been dissatisfied with herself. When did you propose? Li Lan's tone was light, her expression remained unchanged, and her emotions remained calm. Mom, it was yesterday. Now that Chi Chi and his wife are coming over, we just want them to come and stay here for a few days. Mom, you shouldn't mind, do you? Li Lan. I mind. Lin Chi Chi's face immediately changed when she heard Li Lan's words. Auntie, how could you say that? My older brother and sister dot in dot law are staying with you for a few days. What's wrong? We're all going to become a family now, auntie, are you still so calculating? Lin Chi Chi, listen carefully. That's your big brother and sister dot in dot law. If they come and don't have a place to live, that's something you should worry about. Don't throw all the trouble at me. If you haven't arranged everything properly, you'll take it upon yourself to invite them and complain that I haven't given them a place. Why are you so shameless? Lin Chi Chi became even angrier and stopped shouting at her aunt. Old lady, if you don't agree, you have to agree, she said, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Die of anger, become a white-eyed wolf his mother 7. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 7 Lin Chi Chi and her elder brother and sister. In. Law are also top. Notch. They said they could come over, but they need Lin Chi Chi to pay to find a place to live, otherwise they won't come. Lin Chi Chi's household registration was held by her elder brother and sister. In. Law. You need a household registration book to get married. Lin Chi Chi couldn't bear to spend money, anyway, the old lady also has a room available here. When the time comes to push people into this area, Guan Li Lan disagrees. Wan Rui also didn't want this money, thinking that Li Lan should make sacrifices for his happiness. Isn't it just about having two more people stay and having two more chopsticks for dinner? It's a big deal. Mom, you're going too far. How could you say that? What's wrong with my elder brother and sister dot in dot law coming to stay with you for a few days? Can't you do something for your son's happiness? Isn't everyone harmonious? I'll have to take care of you in the future. I didn't say anything. I'll say it again, I don't need you to take care of me in the future. Just don't come and take care of me. Of course, Li Lan could see their thoughts. Lin Chi Chi's elder brother and sister dot in dot law were not good people. They were known for being top dot notch in the countryside, lazy and unhygienic, and particularly fond of taking advantage. In the previous life, the original owner also met Lin Chi Chi's elder brother and sister dot in dot law. They said they came to see Lin Chi Chi and wanted to stay with the original owner for a few days. Fortunately, they almost took over the house, and the old lady became a free labor force, serving them to eat and maintain their hygiene. The original owner complained to his son, and the white-eyed wolf said that the old lady was too pretentious. Isn't it just an extra two mouths? Why bother so much? Whatever is said is for a family to live in harmony. Mom, you're saying that to me again. You're going too far. Isn't it too much to be a cow or a horse for you? Why didn't you mention the point when your girlfriend scolded your mother and old lady? You white-eyed wolf, how could you accuse me here? Why do I want to be harmonious? Why do I have to hurt myself? I don't owe you anything. Parents should give everything for their children, shouldn't they? Wang Rui himself felt a bit guilty. Give everything, you big-headed ghost. Li Lan punched directly. Wang Rui was curled up on the ground in pain, 
while Lin Chi Chi was so scared that she took a few steps back and walked away directly. Why did the old lady hit someone again? Mom, tomorrow is my birthday. Can't you agree to this small request? They just came to stay for a few days and left soon. Li Lan continued to fight, but Wang Rui wanted to resist and was knocked down again. Tell me how much money I spent on you, and how you treated my mother. A few Xiaolong Bao are also good for me to eat. If you have money, you are my mother. If you don't have money, you will scold your mother, and your parents will pay everything. Why don't you go to heaven? Mom, I was wrong, stop beating. Wang Rui's attitude of admitting his mistake is the most positive only when he is beaten. Li Lan didn't believe it and continued to fight. Should parents give everything for their children? Perhaps every parent's answer leans towards yes. In fact, parents are already very benevolent and righteous in raising their children. When you complain that they are not good enough for you, they may even find it difficult to live and have to provide you with food, clothing, and education. Should children repay their parents for their efforts? How will we repay it again? In fact, as we grow up, we will find that our parents don't actually ask us how to repay them. They just want us to occasionally accompany them, a phone call in our leisure time, a greeting, and good news of your safety when you are away. They want very little, but they have put in a lot of effort for their children, which is really beyond the measure of money. Good children also need to be nurtured from a young age, like Wang Rui. It is not ruled out that he has the potential to be a white-eyed wolf, but the original owner did spoil him. Parents cannot always accompany their children for a lifetime. They have to walk the road on their own, and if they keep supporting them, they become helpless a dough. In the end, I couldn't get a good response myself. After beating Wang Rui up, Li Lan threw him out and even called him Didi this time. Pay attention to safety on the road. Li Lan waved her hand at the two of them. Lin Chi Chi's expression was stiff. Is this a slap or a sweet date for the old lady? Wang Rui is also very bitter. He can't even tell whether his mother loves him or not for a moment. He dare not even talk about the dowry. Sai, let's talk about it tomorrow. When taking the car back, Lin Chi Chi remained silent, causing Wang Rui to feel anxious. Your mother seems to have changed a person. Ah. Have you noticed that your mother? She used to be submissive and didn't dare to speak loudly, let alone hit people. And now her strength has become particularly strong, have you noticed? Wang Rui. Dot. Of course I noticed. He was in excruciating pain at the time, and now he's still in a daze. Chi Chi, I know what you're trying to say, but we need to believe in science. Mom is still that mom, she's just going through menopause. The most important thing is that your mother is very stingy now and doesn't give you money. Do you think there are parents like this in the world? Dot. Wang Rui also felt that his mother was too much, even if she had beaten her, he wouldn't say he would give her some money to comfort her. Although he was in excruciating pain, he couldn't see any scars, which made him numb. Seeing Chi Chi searching for asterisk asterisk hospital on her phone, Wang Rui thought it was for him. Chi Chi, I don't need to go to the hospital if I have nothing to do. Who said they want to take you to the hospital? What kind of hospital are you, a big man with rough skin and thick flesh going to? You don't need to spend money to go to the hospital. Your mother beat you, but I didn't see how you were. I'm checking a psychiatric hospital to see what your mother's situation is. Oh. Wang Rui felt a bit aggrieved. Lin Chi Chi's elder brother and sister Dot in Dot Law arrived the next day and directly came to the room rented by Wang Rui. They are not polite at all. They just rummaged through the refrigerator and ate anything delicious. They took off their socks and threw them directly onto the sofa. Lin Chi Chi's sister Dot in Dot Law directly opened Lin Chi Chi's wardrobe, said this is good, that is good, and wiped it with her hand again and again. Lin Chi Chi's diaphragm should have died. Wang Rui is no exception, but this is Chi Chi's family. He can't say much, 
he just wants to quickly send the person to his mother's side. Big brother Lin Dagui has been cooking tea on the sofa, while his wife Dai Xiaochun keeps stuffing melon and fruit desserts into her bag. The two fruit trays on the table have been emptied, leaving her feeling completely embarrassed. They looked at the house, looking left and right, up and down, looking back and forth many times, and their eyes widened when they saw something good. If it weren't for Wang Rui still here, I probably could have taken him away directly. Lin Chi Chi is a flower in the village and is the pride of their Lin family. With this sister, they have gained a lot of benefits, so they will still listen to her words. I came here this time to make more money. I have to get married and make a fortune. The target is still from the city. Although this house is rented, if this kid doesn't have money, can his younger sister get married? The kid doesn't have money, mom must have money. He's such a smart little girl. Brother in law, have you found the place where your sister in law and I live? Wang Rui said, it's easy to say. Uncle, if you go to live with my mother, it's all a family and there's no need to live outside. Lin Chi Chi. Yes. There's no better place to stay outside than at home. Lin Dagui and his team are here to make money. They don't care where they live, just take advantage of it. Sure. Is your mother convenient with her hands and feet? Can she cook and clean? Without even thinking, Wang Rui said, Yes, my mother is so diligent. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Die of Anger become a white-eyed wolf his mother ate. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter 8 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother Ate Lin Dagui said, All right, let's stay for a few days. We'll go back when you two finish your business. Wife, take your household registration to my younger sister. Dai Xiaochun nodded and pulled Lin Chi Chi into the room to speak. Lin Chi Chi. Sister-in-law, Bring it over. Take it, definitely take it. Dai Xiaochun reached out a slightly oily hand and grabbed Lin Chi Chi's tender and white hand. But little sister, your sister Dot in Dot Law really likes this gold necklace. She dreams of wanting one, look. Lin Chi Chi rolled her eyes in her heart. She knew the temperament of her elder brother and sister Dot in Dot Law and if they were not allowed to gain some benefits, this matter would be difficult to handle. Pulling out a stiff smile, gritted his teeth and gave the gold necklace out. Dai Xiaochun immediately picked it up and put it around her neck with a smile. Oh my, little sister, you're so generous. My sister Dutton Dot Law knows you're a good person. Your older brother and I miss you a lot in our hometown, she said Dai Xiaochun's gaze turned to Lin Chi Chi's hand and he said, Oh, what kind of jade is this? The color is so beautiful, oh, my eyes can't even move. Lin Chi Chi. Wipe. What can I do? Keep giving. Dai Xiaochun was satisfied now and honestly gave her household registration book to Lin Chi Chi. She still knows a bit of moderation, she can't ask too much at once, she needs to take it slowly. Lin Chi Chi just wants to send the person away quickly now, it's too boring. If it weren't for having a household registration book when getting married, we wouldn't have notified them. She also thought about making up for it, but she still had to go to her hometown. There were acquaintances going out, and if anyone spoke up, she probably wouldn't be able to come back and would be forced to stay by her brother and sister. In. Law, which would result in even more losses. She just wants to quickly send the person to the old lady's place and make them bother her. Lin Chi Chi received the household registration book and immediately pulled the person out. Big brother and sister dot in dot law, let's go. The car is ready. Lin Dagui. So fast. Where is it? Lin Chi Chi. Where's the entrance? Wang Ruelin and Chi Chi stood outside the car, giving the driver an address. Hey hey hey, little sister, won't you come with us? Let's buy something and go over tonight. Wave your hand. The car drove away. Li Lan received a message from the white-eyed wolf. 
Mom, Chi-Chi's big brother and sister dot in dot law are coming to your side soon. Remember to open the door. We'll be there later if we have something to do, and we look forward to the birthday gift mom has prepared are you planning to force it out? The white-eyed wolf is really good. Can you even think of a birthday gift after causing trouble? It's giving you face, isn't it? Twenty minutes later. Lin Dagui and Dai Xiaochun stood outside the door and said, Auntie in law, open the door. After shouting for a while, no one came to open the door. Dai Xiaochun said, Husband, isn't there anyone inside here? No one. Why don't you kick the door open and take a look? Don't say it yet, it's possible that the elderly person's ears are not working properly. Let's shout louder. Daughter dot in dot law, you're right. If you can't, it's not too late to kick the door again. Lin Dagui shouted in a louder voice than before, My dear, open the door. Pa da da, the locked door suddenly opened, revealing a black crack. The door is open. Eh. Why is it pitch black? Lin Dagui pushed the door open, and the room was black with no light or even a voice. He scratched his bald head and continued walking inside. Sai, why isn't there anyone? Dai Xiaochun followed behind Lin Dagui. As soon as she entered, she felt the air around her cool and chilly, feeling a little uneasy. Auntie in law, where are you? I'm Lin Chi Chi's older brother, I, ah. Lin Dagui didn't touch the light switch, but instead felt a chill. He was startled, unsure of what it was, and didn't dare to touch it again. Dai Xiaochun was also startled and said, Husband, what's wrong? Don't scare me, I always feel like this room is strange. Little sister didn't say that this in-law's aunt has any quirks. But even if this normal person is at home, the house won't be without lights on. They've been in for a while and haven't seen anyone, which is too strange. It's okay, it's okay. Lin Dagui felt that he couldn't scare himself. It's already an era and he can't be superstitious. The lights in the room suddenly lit up, with a slightly old and yellowish color that didn't give a very good impression. Who? His Lin Dagui suddenly felt something blowing lightly behind his back, and his goosebumps started to rise. Wife-in-law. No one responded. Lin Dagui didn't dare to turn back and pulled his back with his hand, no one. What's going on? I was still talking just now, why haven't I seen anyone in a while? Daughter dot in dot law, please don't scare me, daughter dot in dot law. Lin Dagui dared not move because he saw the door of the inner room slowly open. Squeak, squeak. The door slowly opens. A pair of red embroidered shoes appeared in sight. Then, an old lady with a stiff and pale face slowly walked out from inside. Coming. The two light and floating words seem to emanate from the mouth, but in this old lady's mouth, it seems like. It hasn't opened. Lin Dagui felt difficulty breathing, his hands trembling uncontrollably, and he fell to the ground. Ghost. Ghost. With his shouting, there was another even sharper sound. Ah. My waist. Lin Dagui, take a look down, mom. Why is my wife sitting down all over me? Originally, just now Dai Xiaochun felt someone blowing air behind her neck, and when she turned around, she couldn't see anyone. She was so scared that she lay down and didn't dare to speak. She kept muttering to herself, God of wealth bless you. Blessed by the God of wealth. Dai Xiaochun doesn't believe anything, just believes in the God of wealth. She thinks that the God of wealth is the most amazing. No, I was sitting on my waist directly by Lin Dagui, and it was so painful. Fortunately, there was some flesh on my waist that provided a layer of cushioning and protection. Lin Dagui quickly moved away from his wife Dai Xiaochun and made sure she was okay. The two of them hugged each other and looked at Li Lan trembling. My dear. My dear family. Dai Xiaochun is a bit better than Lin Dagui. She just worshipped the god of wealth and has a stronger courage than Lin Dagui. 
she caught a glimpse of the old lady's shadow on the ground with her sharp eyes. Auntie in law, we are Chi Chi's elder brother and sister. In. Law. What are people afraid of? Isn't it just that it looks a bit scary? It's nothing, and I don't know if there's anything good in this old lady's house. Husband, I saw her shadow, Dai Xiaochun whispered to Lin Dagui. Lin Dagui stopped trembling, and he also saw the shadow of the old lady. Damn it, it made him think it was a ghost and scared him to death. Lin Dagui's tone was not very good. I said in laws, who are you pretending to be a ghost here to scare? Forget it, for the sake of your age, I forgive you. Sai, do you have anything to eat? If not, in laws, you can make some for us to eat. Good guy, I arranged it directly for Li Lan. Thank you, my dear. Remember to have meat. Otherwise, we will not be accustomed to eating. Dai Xiaochun immediately followed suit. How about this meat? Li Lan took out a tissue from her sleeve and stood in front of the two of them, asking. Li Lan used a cover up on the tissue, which in the eyes of Lin Dagui and Dai Xiaochun, was now a bloody dead mouse. Ouch! Dai Xiaochun was the most responsive. She retched several times and looked at Li Lan with frightened eyes. You, you, you. Dai Xiaochun seemed to have seen something again, and her eyes rolled over and she fainted. Lin Dagui. Wife. How could you faint first? End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Die of anger, become a white-eyed wolf his mother 9. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 9 Lin Chi Chi was dressed beautifully and sat in the passenger seat of Wang Rui. The two of them went out to play, shopping for cosmetics, and having a romantic lunch together. As for Li Lan's side, Lin Da Gui dragged Dai Xiaochun, who had fainted, to grab the door and flee without looking back. Lin Da Gui carried his wife Dai Xiaochun on his back for a long time before seeing a taxi. He no longer cared about the cost of the ride and directly reported Wang Rui's rental address to the driver. Lin Chi Chi and Wang Rui were having a romantic lunch when they received a call from their older brother Lin Da Gui. Dear, my brother called, but there must be another problem with your mother. My mom really is, today is my birthday and I have to do something. Lin Chi Chi answered the phone. On the other end of the phone, Lin Da Gui's angry and frightened voice came out. Little sister, your mother dot in dot law is not human. Where have you been? Come back quickly. Your sister dot in dot law has been scared unconscious, and we are now at your doorstep. Big brother, what's going on? Take your time and say don't worry, Wang Rui and I will hurry back now. What? You said the old lady is not human. Lin Dagui drank some hot water and his whole body was much better. You haven't seen it, your mother. In. Law's face is so pale and translucent. Wang Rui's face was very ugly. Did his mother really be given something unclean, I'll just say it. Your mother seems to have changed a person, don't you believe it? Now it's over, my sister. In. Law has scared her unconscious, and I don't know when she will wake up. Lin Chi Chi was extremely depressed. Now, the idea of trying to make money for the old lady is in vain. They originally intended to scam the old lady out of her money under the guise of marriage, claiming it was the money needed for the wedding dowry. What should we do now? Call the police. Lin Chi Chi slapped Wang Rui on the forehead and said, You're stupid. Is it useful to report such a thing to the police? Although they themselves do not believe in superstition, Li Lan's situation is really inexplicable, and it gives people the feeling of being two people before and after. So Wang Rui was forced by Lin Chi Chi to search for experts everywhere, and even couldn't sleep well. In the end, with the help of a kind-hearted aunt, he successfully found an old Taoist who looked at the fairy-like demeanor. Wang Rui knelt down with a thud. Taoist, you need to help me. The old Taoist held a brush in his hand, with a hidden mystery in his eyes and a mysterious expression on his face. This little friend, 
I'm sorry to inform you that your printing hall has turned black and your eyes are lifeless. I'm afraid you may have provoked something unclean. If it's not resolved soon, you may be at risk of losing your life. The old Taoist has been in this business for a long time and has also deceived many people. He speaks human and ghost language when he sees people. Besides, normal people wouldn't come to him if they had nothing to do. This person has dark circles under his eyes, is mentally tired, and has weak feet. At first glance, there is a scene, and his living expenses will depend on him. Wan Rui's eyes lit up after hearing this, and he nodded vigorously, Ah, yes, yes, you are a skilled expert at first glance, Taoist. The Taoist priest also mentioned that he was the 65th generation descendant of the branch of Nanyang Taoism, talking about how powerful his ancestors were. He also talked to him about many exorcism techniques, and Wang Rui became more convinced. He repeatedly sighed that he had good luck and found the right person. Taoist, you don't know. My mother has been like a different person lately. She has a hot temper and can easily hit people, and when she hits me, it's like hitting a thief. Her six relatives don't recognize her, and she has also become stingy and unwilling to give me a penny. She wasn't like this before. A few days ago, my uncle went to my mother's place, and she. Okay, so my mother must have been possessed by something unclean. Little friend, this is a typical possession of evil energy. Fortunately, you have met our sect leader. If you were one step late, you would have lost both life and wealth. I heard from you that your sex evil energy technique is quite profound. Your sex heart is really good, and you can't bear to face death without saving it. However, the sect leader nodded halfway, this is about discussing money. Yes, yes, you must save us, Taoist. How much does it cost? Taoist, please make an offer. What is that, little friend? Since heaven has arranged for us to meet by chance, as the saying goes, saving a person's life is better than building a level 7 pagoda. Let's talk about fate, not money. Little friend, just give us something you want, it's just something that needs to be prepared for the task. Wang Rui understood for a second, but he felt a little sore. But when he thought that his mother would give him more money after the money was settled, he would let his mother pay him back. He borrowed tens of thousands of dollars from his relatives and signed a guarantee that he would pay them back soon. On Saturday, Li Lan went to visit the two elderly people at her mother's house according to her previous habits, cooked for them, washed clothes, and tidied up the house. She also chatted with her elder brother and sister dot in dot law about family matters and had meals together. It was dark before returning home, and Li Lan paused with the key in her hand. She sensed someone inside, and there were traces of the door lock being pried. Someone is going to surprise her. Have you finally arrived? Entering the room, Li Lan didn't turn on the lights and flashed into the darkness, starting a hide-and-seek game. Wan Rui's heart was beating, she came, that thing came. Taoist, have you seen that evil thing? Shu, don't panic, little friend. Everything is under control. The two of them hid in the corner of the sofa wall, staring motionless at the movement on the other side of the door. The old Taoist was holding a plastic high imitation peach wood sword in his hand, and in the other hand, he was holding about ten temporary yellow talismans. These things tricked Wang Rui out of sixty thousand yuan. Suddenly, someone patted his shoulder, thinking it was Wang Rui behind him. He turned around and said, What other questions do you have? little friend. No. Did the Taoist find anything? Why did you pat me on the shoulder, little friend? No. Both of them realized something at the same time and suddenly fell silent. The old Taoist cursed inwardly at his grandmother, perhaps he had really encountered something sinister this time. Damn it. Is that okay? At this moment, the darkness inside the room became a psychological suggestion of fear for the two, as if they had stepped into the devil's mouth. Are you looking for me? Li Lan deliberately said in a hoarse and unpleasant voice. 
As soon as the sound fell, the two of them saw an old face with shimmering wrinkles constantly wriggling. Ah! The two of them screamed loudly at the same time. The old Taoist's cry was louder than Wang Rui's, and he wanted to run out, but was tightly grabbed by Wang Rui. Taoist, hurry up. You quickly get rid of this evil spirit. Let go. Get out of here. Where has the old Taoist seen this world? Kicking Wang Rui open, he wanted to snatch the door and escape, but the peach wood sword and yellow talisman scattered all over the ground and he didn't care. Mom, there are really unclean things in this world. Blessed by our ancestors. He really didn't mean to provoke him, he just wanted to make a living. Why is it so unlucky? Damn it. Why can't this door open? Taoist, don't leave me behind. Wang Rui climbed up to the old Taoist's feet again. Get lost. The old Taoist pushed the person away, this unsightly thing. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Die of anger, become a white-eyed wolf his mother 10. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Die of Anger, Become a White-Eyed Wolf His Mother 10, Since You're Here, Stay and Have Fun. Li Lan lifted her feet one foot off the ground and floated directly in front of the two of them. The old Taoist shook his whole body into a sieve and didn't forget to kneel and beg for mercy. Auntie, please let me go. I have no intention of offending you, it was he who threatened me. Please forgive me once, Auntie. Wang Rui was so scared that he fell to the ground and urinated directly, with a considerable amount of urine flowing directly to the spot where the old Taoist kowtowed. When the old Taoist closed his eyes and kowtowed fiercely, he suddenly felt his forehead wet and there was a foul smell in his nose. When he opened his eyes, he almost vomited. Monster! Come out of my mother's body quickly, mother, I'm your son Wang Rui. The more I thought about it, the more confident I became. I grabbed the peach wood sword and yellow talisman scattered by the old Taoist on the ground and stabbed towards Li Lan. Crack. The sword broke in half, leaving Li Lan unharmed. How could it be? Wang Rui threw Huang Fu over again. The talisman paper didn't give Wang Rui any face, and before it touched Li Lan, it fell softly to the ground. The old Taoist has a strong desire to die. Did he bring those things? Will he be the first to be shot dead later? Mom, hurry up and drive out the monsters in your body. Pop. Li Lan slapped her big mouth directly. She just went to the room and looked, good guy. This white-eyed wolf knew he was going to his mother's house today, so he searched inside and outside while he was not around. Fortunately, he brought his card and important things with him, but a few gold jewelry and some cash in the small cabinet were missing. What's even more despicable is that the place where the old man placed his ashes in the small room was knocked down, and the ashes scattered all over the ground. Does this white-eyed wolf suspect that he hid something in the urn? Fists rained down like raindrops. Damn monster, come out of my mother's body quickly, ah ah ah. Mom, help me quickly, I'm about to be killed. It's no use calling, Mom. Dot. The old Taoist next to him ignored the evil and began to twist the door handle little by little. Oh, he actually opened it. He slipped and ran away, unaware that the black plastic bag containing money had fallen off, probably afraid to come back and pick it up. Wang Rui was miserable. Ow. Li Lan did it honestly this time without any hesitation. Wang Rui was thrown out again, and it was a long time before he could barely stand up. When Grandma Zhao next door came out with a flashlight to take out the trash, she saw him and used the flashlight to shine for a while before recognizing who it was. Wang Rui's eyes were almost blinded by the light, and he struggled to speak. Grandma Zhao couldn't hear him clearly and didn't know what he was saying. This isn't Li Lan's son. Come to see your mother again. Ouch, it's filial. But isn't your powder blusher a little heavy, and why are the lines of the clothes and pants everywhere? They are all in one piece. We are really old, 
and we can't keep up with your young people's aesthetic. Last time her granddaughter came to see her, she put on a belly bag with only a few ropes at the back, which startled her. Her pants were not properly worn, so she rolled them up and dragged them on the ground. Her granddaughter even said what kind of economy this was. Oh, I can't understand it anyway. Grandma Zhao finished speaking on her own and went back, ignoring Wang Rui's screams from behind. She was severely deaf and couldn't hear anything at all. Grandma Zhao, my phone is broken. Can I go to your house to make a call? He wanted Chi Chi to call him Didi. His phone was smashed in half by Li Lan, and he couldn't bear it anymore. He couldn't walk back on his own. It's not easy to take a taxi in the old house unless he calls online. He felt that he could still be alive now, and it must be her mother's will that controlled the monster from letting her kill him. His mother has loved him for more than twenty years. Can they be fake? He is not stupid. He can feel that his mother really loves him very much. His mother can give everything for himself. Now, it's all the blame of this monster for destroying everything he has. That old Taoist is also a scammer. He had no real ability and even deceived him by 60,000 yuan. Woo 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 woo. For his mother's sake, he must cheer up. Fortunately, he also has gold jewelry and 5,000 pieces of cash taken from the monster. These must be his mother's intended for him. Woo woo, nothing was found in the bank card. He wanted to catch up with Grandma Zhao, but he couldn't even walk a few steps. He just watched helplessly as Grandma Zhao closed the door, and Grandma Zhao even waved his hand. Dot. In the following days, Li Lan was doing quite well, and the white-eyed wolf didn't come to disturb her anymore. She planted some nutritious flowers and plants on the balcony, watered them every day, weeded them, and occasionally applied fertilizer once or twice. When the sunshine was good, she would bring a chair and brew a cup of flower tea, while basking in the sun to supplement calcium and reading. It was really relaxing. The money left by the old man and the pension provided by the government are enough for her to live a high-dot-quality elderly life. She doesn't have to suffer at all. She plans to sign up for a tour group in a while, and when she can't walk, she will go to a nursing home without worrying about no one taking care of her when she gets old. Whenever she has free time in the evening, Li Lan also goes to the square to learn square dancing, drink tea with the elderly, and have barbecue with the young daughter. In. Law. She listens to their new things with great interest. Li Lan thinks this kind of life is quite good, with sufficient material guarantees to meet the basic requirements of food, clothing, housing, and transportation. Life is happy every day, without any worries or worries, and the heart is as calm as water. There are also certain activities to enhance mood, such as planting flowers, listening to traditional Chinese opera, learning to make desserts, shopping, playing chess, and dancing square dances. Before preparing to travel, Li Lan stayed at her mother's house for a few days and also told her elder brother and sister in law about Wang Rui's situation, telling them not to lend money to him. After listening to Li Lan's story, the elder brother and sister. In. Law were very angry with Wang Rui. They didn't expect this nephew to be so extreme, constantly nagging the elderly and even joining forces with outsiders to bully the younger sister. Do you really think they're dead? The girl's temper is also too good. She didn't say anything before and was full of white eyed wolves. The girl is so confused. I thought this nephew was so good. He always brings gifts during holidays and festivals, but he didn't expect that they were all bought by the girl and forced to be brought by him. It's really a waste of their relationship. Fortunately, the girl has figured it out now. It would be great if she could come out and take a look outside. But it's still quite heartbreaking. The system novice went to find a new plane for Li Lan. Li Lan said that if she dared to fool herself again, she would turn novice into novice. Upon hearing this, the newly liberated novice, who had been banned from speaking, trembled and said that the next level would definitely have fair skin, beautiful appearance, and long legs. Mom! When the big shot hit that white-eyed wolf, 
he saw it all. He'd better be obedient. End of this chapter.